I'm gonna make breakfast burritos, which are not new. They are not new to anybody. But you know, what I really wanted to do was to show you how to make your own tortillas. This is a King Arthur recipe that I have and we will attach it to the link below. It makes all the difference in the world. And one of the things that I really do advocate for is trying to make as many ingredients homemade as we possibly can. So it's two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Basically, potassium bromate is added to flour to artificially age it. Potassium bromate is added so food manufacturers can produce baked goods faster, cheaper, feeding the population. But potassium bromate is actually banned in several countries. Researchers found that it does cause cancer in lab animals. In California, there is a label, potassium bromate is an unnecessary and potentially harmful additive and should be avoided. So what do we do with this? So this sounds really, really, really scary. You have a baked good that is baked to a certain temperature for an adequate amount of time. Most of that potassium bromate is baked out of the food and it's completely safe. However, when you are choosing a flour to buy to make your own homemade food, it might be a good idea to just look for the ones that say unbromated. So if you accidentally buy something that has bromated flour in it, it's nothing to get too freaked out about, and it has been cooked to an adequate temperature, it is probably harmless. Just keep going about your day. Do not give it that much attention. When you have a choice at the grocery store, buy an unbromated flour whenever you can. One teaspoon of baking powder. You could also add a half a teaspoon of salt to this. I have kosher salt. It's kind of coarse. I am gonna add it to the wet ingredients. Half a teaspoon of salt. So you need hot water for this recipe. So actually what I do is I take a measuring cup, fill it with water, pop it in the microwave, probably about a minute or even like 45 seconds. Add a half a teaspoon of salt to my water. Three tablespoons of olive oil. Dump that all in. Just kind of mix it up. It's a little bit sticky, which is totally fine. Kind of looks like that. We are just gonna turn it out. It's a little stickier. It's raining outside. And so I probably should have added the water a little bit at a time. I'm gonna say that because it's a little wet, more wet than it normally is. So I'm gonna add a little bit of flour. And you really don't have to knead it all that hard. And it sort of comes together like that. And you just wanna push it away from your body with your the heel of your hand. All right, and once you got it into like a little ball like this. Cut it up into eight pieces. This is the most forgiving recipe I think I have ever seen. It's really not some horrible, oh, you're adding flour, you're changing the thing. It's, it's easy. And again, if this is too scary for you, it's okay, you can go buy it. But I'm telling you, it's worth it. I'm making a hot mess today and it's fine. They'll still turn out just great. They'll be delicious. By letting them sit and rest for 30 minutes, you let that flour absorb the water. It makes it much easier for the tortillas to be rolled out into a pan. And just kind of let them rest for about 30 minutes. And then we'll come back and we'll roll them out and we'll cook them up and we will assemble our breakfast burritos. Okay, so we're back. These have been resting for about 30 minutes. I already rolled one out. I just have a nonstick skillet that is heating up back here that we're just gonna cook these for 30 seconds. So you do need one piece of special equipment and that's a rolling pin for these. Kind of like I was doing a pie and sort of unroll it. 30 seconds on each side. And while I do that, I'm gonna roll out the next tortilla. And you roll it into sort of a circle. Mine are kind of blobby. Doesn't matter, for a burrito they all just get wrapped up anyway. Watch it puff up though, it's gonna be great. It takes about 30 seconds. Tongs. Breakfast burritos are complete. I'm gonna stick them in the freezer, but I like to label them first. 2020, huh, 2020. If they're frozen, you wanna put them in the microwave for closer to two minutes, not quite two minutes, like a minute and 30. Ideally, you would pull them out the night before, 
but who's really doing that? Come on, let's be honest. If they're refrigerated, it takes less than a minute to heat them up. Making your own tortillas just takes it up a huge notch, and it's just real food, and that's really where the best place to be is. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Have a great day. Bye.